Head coach Jerry Mack now joining us. Uh, coach, tough loss today. You'd like to make an opening statement about today's game? Yeah, we just didn't play well enough. You know, I thought our guys came out. I thought they were kind of focused, and we started off the first half playing pretty decent. Second half was just kind of a debacle. Uh, third quarter, they came out and they went down the field uh, after halftime and scored a touchdown. And then we just really never got in a real rhythm after that. We, we were able to pop one touchdown in the second half, but overall, it just wasn't good enough to win the game. Was that kind of a backbreaker when they scored those on those consecutive drives in the third quarter? I think so, more so because of the momentum. The momentum was a big thing in that game. Uh, you know, it was going back and forth a little bit in the first half, but that second half, when they came out the gate and, and hit that touchdown, and then I think they scored on the next drive, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was just kind of a back break. We just never could get the momentum swing again. Did they do something differently in the second half? They just made a play? Uh, I think they just made plays. You know, they made more plays than us when they all when it came down to it. Uh, we were in position. Uh, we were not out of position. We didn't, we gave up very little explosive plays. But those guys, they, they you know, there's a reason that they champs. And they they came to play. Like I said, you gave up very little explosive plays. But once again, the theme, the, the penalties, kind of hurt at certain times. How frustrating has that been just all year to kind of get you out of easy situations and then put you in bad situations? Well, you know, one thing about penalties, when they start, it's just kind of hard to stop it. And we saw that that being an a issue probably the first part of the season, and we just really never stopped the bleeding. Uh, but that's why we play again next year. Uh, we've got some things we're going to evaluate our total program in off season. We're going to start to do some different things, and, and hopefully we can get that deal fixed. Um, you said evaluation. The last three games, you guys scored only one offensive touchdown. After, you know, kind of an explosive offense for the most part. What changed down the stretch? The team just kind of have a better read on you guys? Uh, I think uh, they had maybe a little bit better read, but you know, playing with nine new starters on offense, that didn't really help at all either. I thought Chauncey Caldwell for a freshman to come in this year, uh, was kind of thrust into the starting role, and you know, I thought he did an admirable job. Um, but you know, we got to get better offensively. We got to do some things to, to recruit some different players. It's going to give us an opportunity to be explosive. Uh, we got to do some things up front, and uh, Chauncey has to continue to get better. And we got to reevaluate uh, that position as well. On your guys opening drive of the game, you went right down the field and then Aiden misses the, uh, misses the field goal. Does that change kind of the way things go? Does that, does that kind of suck a little life out of the team? No, I don't think so. I think it proved to our offense more than anything that we could we could move the football down the field. I think and that's what's been the theme all year. I think we've been having our flashes on offense, a, a couple of series here, a couple of series there. But when it uh, comes down to crunch time, you can see I think we were one or four or whatnot down in the red zone. Uh, we just we haven't been able to come through with enough touchdowns. Like in the locker rooms, the seniors here who have meant so much for this program and, and won so many championships. What was the mood like to after the game? Uh, very sad, uh, more than anything, to go out disappointing the last two games of their career with, with losses. But uh, you know, you live and you learn. That's the biggest thing. You know, they did some great things for us. Uh, we appreciate to those seniors that, that, that represented our program. And now it's time to move on to the next year, get some of these younger guys going, and and, and move forward. Coach, uh, season's done now. Your overall thoughts on the season? Uh, overall, uh, not bad. You know, we had seven wins. A lot of teams in the country would love to have seven wins. Uh, probably a little bit disappointing because of the projection. Uh, but, you know, we're harder on ourselves than any fan or any media outlet could be. We know this is not our standard. Uh, we, we've set a culture. we set a standard around here for the last few years, and we have to do better. You know, our goal is to always win the MEA championship and go represent the Celebration Bowl. We failed short of, short of it this year, uh, but we can get fixed. Uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the beauty of it. It's not some things that's unfixable. We have a good core coming back. Uh, we're going to add some piece of that puzzle, and I think we're going to uh, be right in contention next year if we do the right things. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.